Now, a large focus for investors the past few years has been these big cap tech names. Fang has dominated for the past decade. Maybe too dominant. Maybe it's time to shift the focus and look at the names that are the future of tech rather than today's staples. Today, Goldman Sachs launched its new Goldman Sachs Future Tech Leaders Equity ETF. They're focusing on smalling, um, smaller emerging tech companies. If it sounds familiar, it's similar to ARK Investments, which has a number of these forward-looking innovation funds. So what is Goldman buying and how will they differentiate themselves? Joining me now is Brooke Dane. He's a portfolio manager at Goldman Sachs Asset Management and the manager of the fund. Uh, it's good to have you here, Brooke. And let's start start with the emphasis, which is really on non-FANG names. Do you guys think this has become too dominant in most people's portfolios? Yeah, Kelly, it's great to be back on the show, and especially on such an exciting day for, for Goldman Sachs Asset Management with the launch of the, the Goldman Sachs Future Tech Leaders Equity ETF, as you mentioned. So yeah, we have this fundamental belief, and we've been talking about it for a while now, that there's this disconnect between how investors are positioned and where we see you know, the real innovation and, and disruptive tech coming uh, in the world. You know, we think that the twin impacts of, you know, cellular phone ubiquity and the rise of the public cloud has really democratized innovation. And we're seeing a wave of really interesting companies, both in the mid cap space of the U.S., but also globally in emerging markets around the world where, you know, you're seeing just tremendous innovation and great companies being born. We think investors are underrepresented of that class of assets. And, and we really think that, you know, this is a really nice complement to existing uh, investor portfolios in a really nice uh, ETF structure and framework. So we couldn't be more excited about the product today. And, you know, it, it's great to have an opportunity to talk about it with you. And I want to mention that this is part of some other thematic ETFs that you do offer. The Innovate Equity ETF uh, is a Goldman offering, the Future Planet Equity ETF, and now this one. Tell me how it'll work, how many names are in the fund, uh, how, you know, what's the turnover? You know, Kathy would, would does distinguish herself by often posting their daily trades and doing all sorts of transparency things. Tell me yeah. about your approach. Sure. So first of all, you know, the, the fund is co-managed by myself, Sung Cho and Nathan Lin. The three of us work very closely together. You know, we are, um, it, this is an actively managed product and, you know, and the team at ARC has done a great job of, of reinvigorating the active world and highlighting that to people. But this is going to be a focused product. We're going to have around 60 names globally. And again, um, you know, this is long-term investments. Our process is very much driven by bottoms-up analysis, really getting to know these management teams, um, you know, doing extensive valuation work on our own forecasts and fundamentals to come up with the best 60 names that we think can really benefit investors' portfolios and, and drive kind of structural disruptive change over time. Um, so, you know, we're super happy about it. We've got uh, 15 dedicated tech analysts across the globe looking for this next generation of innovative companies. And we just think that there's a tremendous opportunity for, uh, for investors out there. And it's not just saying Tesla obviously wouldn't qualify as it's well over $100 billion, And that's kind of the centerpiece of Kathy's innovation uh, ETF. We've showed a couple of the names, Brooke, that you guys are fans of here. Names like Palo Alto uh, that people might be pretty familiar with. But also King D Software, Atlassian, Pay, uh, Adyen, I'm sorry, in the payment space, Bill.com. You've got some chip names as well. So what are the main yeah. criteria? I mean, obviously, so much of this has to really just be, you know, bottoms up research. But other than the them being under $100 billion, are there any kind of general growth uh, metrics that you're looking at? Sure. What we're really looking for is companies that we think um, can, you know, can grow at, at very high rates over long periods of time. And, and we look for certain kind of patterns in stocks. So, you know, you mentioned cybersecurity. So I think everybody knows that, that in the cybersecurity space, there's tremendous, you know, tailwinds to the market as the threat environment, you know, rapidly evolves and changes. I saw a stat yesterday that said every 39 seconds, there's a breach, um, you know, on the web out there. So the, the backdrop of the environment is incredibly um, robust and the need for uh, security is, is very strong. But one of the things that really attracts us to this market is there's also a secular shift happening underneath the hood of just being a massive tailwind. So, you know, as companies have moved to cloud computing, it's changed the security architectures that people need. So no longer can you just be a uh, protector enterprise with perimeter defenses and firewalls. You need to protect workloads in the cloud. You need to re-examine how you're doing endpoints with things like Zero Trust and SASE. And, you know, in Palo Alto, we think we found a company that is managed to really do an excellent job of taking their core strength in existing firewalls, but use that and invest in the next generation of security architectures. And they've really pivoted the business over the past two years, mm -hmm. where now they're at scale in these new markets, they're growing very rapidly. And then when you look at their valuation, you know, we talked earlier about how valuation is an important part of our process. When you look at their valuation, they, and compare them to some of the pure best of breed uh, next gen security softwares, it's just a big disconnect in, in how that stock trades. Sure.